This is a Zener diode symbol. Zener diode consists of a PN junction, P terminal called anode, and N terminal is called cathode. Here we can see the Zener diode IV curve. Basically, a Zener diode has a three operational regions. We can start with forward bias region number one here in this graph. A forward bias condition is established by applying a positive potential to the anode and a negative potential to the cathode. Depending on the type of PN junction, the potential difference required to forward bias the Zener diode is around 0.7 volt for silicon PN type and is around 0.2 volt for germanium type PN junction. In this case, we consider the silicon type. When a Zener diode being forward bias, then it will operate as an ordinary diode. So it allows current flow in one direction and prevents current flow in opposite direction. The second region is when a Zener diode is reverse biased, but before it gets to its breakdown point, so-called breakdown or Zener voltage. In this case, a positive potential is applied to the cathode terminal and a negative potential to its anode terminal. In this region, the Zener diode will be off and there will be a very small leakage current flowing from cathode to anode. In most electronic applications, we neglect this small reverse leakage current. The third region is Zener or breakdown. In this region, the Zener diode is still reverse biased, but by increasing the reverse potential, it reaches a point where the Zener diode starts conducting rapidly. As you can see the breakdown region in the IV curve here, when the reverse voltage is applied to the Zener diode, then a voltage remains constant even for a wide range of current flowing through it. This is the region a Zener diode expected to be in and operates in most electronic circuits. 